Hello everybody and welcome to Stone Heart. So, if you've been around on my channel for a while, uh, there was an old game I played called Timber and Stone. Which was like this weird cool like voxel building a, essentially a civilization kind of game. Well this is one of those kind of games. And it's really cool and I really like it and it's probably even better than Timber and Stone honestly. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and play this game. Uh, we're not gonna be playing the Kingdom of Ben Banal Bananalishka. Because I, uh, that's, that's the one I was playing on my own. This is the story of a brave band of settlers from the Ascendancy. A prosperous and industrious kingdom. Seeking new lands and venture, they set off to... The temperate fo Darkmoor Forest. A location that is sure to be an inspiring place to start anew. So yeah. So we start off with all these little settler guys, and the point is we get to select if we want these guys or if we can re if we want to re-roll them again. Um, I'm pretty happy with what we have right now. Um, we're gonna need the these two people are gonna be really useful. I know that much. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with it. You're gonna be useful. So what we need is we're gonna need a. We can make a wooden sword, can't we? Or is that from a blacksmith? Okay, getting a little bit ahead of myself here. What we're gonna buy is, in fact, a trapper's knife. We're gonna have some fun here. I've never tried the trapper's knife route. So basically, you get to start with what items you get. Well, if you do the farmer's hoe, you get a farmer to start with. Uh, if you do the wooden sword, you can have a soldier to start with, weaver, and herbalist. And you can buy some food to go along with that. But I want to try it with this trapper's knife to begin with. Especially because I think I can make a farmer's hoe out for, with a carpenter. So I'm not too worried about getting that. But yeah. I'm going to start with the trapper's knife. And this should be pretty good. I like all these people. We can edit their names if we wanted to. But I'm not going to bother with that right now. Then we get to choose our location. So here's what we got. Ooh. Ooh, I really like that spot. That's a terrible place to be, but I like it. So I think I'm going to brought myself up somewhere nearby to it. And yeah, probably about right there-ish. Yeah, it looks like a good place. We need a lot of wildlife, too, if we're starting with the trapper or something. Because the trapper lets people, you know, trap some things. So, we really need that. And as this game loads in, we get to see everything in its glory. And hopefully I can adjust this thing to fit a little bit better on the screen. Because right now, it looks a little bit wonky. Uh, in my recording, so I'll probably have to uh, size it up a little bit just to make it fit properly. Alright, so let's look around here real quick. Over there's the mountains. Having the mountains are definitely nice. Uh, let's see, I dig down and get some minerals and everything. Oop, too far. Uh, I will want to mention, though, that this game is, in fact, an early alpha. I don't even know what the heck that is. Uh, is, in fact, an early alpha, so things are not going to be, you know, perfect yet everything and what the heck is you there for that's weird but cool I uh, might do something with that but yeah we're gonna go ahead and plop ourselves down well the clearing would probably be nice actually honestly I just don't know what this is all about but we'll do something with that at some point so we're just gonna plop ourselves down right up here Perfect. So now we get to name our settlement. Uh, let's just call it. Oh, uh, I didn't think of a name for this. I really should have thought of a name for this to begin with. We'll go with Barkdale. Barkdale. That's that's a good name. Barkdale. Because it's all wood and everything around here. Alright, so let's pause this game real quick. We can pause the game using our hotkeys here to do stuff like that. So the first thing that's going to be very important is we need to get people to harvest some things. So as you can see, there's a bunch of these random things all over the ground. We need a lot of those, a lot of those, a lot of those. Nope, nope, okay, zoomed out a little bit too much there. And we'll probably want them to take all of these trees over here and those ones too. Because as you should know, uh, you need wood in order to do stuff. So we're going to go have them gather some wood. Now... Uh, I have on these green lines, which are really nice. They show you where they're going in order to harvest some things. Now, the next logical thing we need is we need a stockpile. What the stockpile does is it stores your stuff for you. So, we're going to try and get a spot where it's not going to be encompassed by a rock. Right there. Perfect. 
that's just going to store everything for right now. Conveniently, I think we already have something in the stockpile. <laughs> that's nice. So they're going to go harvest all that wood. And then now comes the part where we need to figure out some things. So we need somebody who's going to be our trapper. Uh, a good one, one with good spirit is probably the best idea. And so far, you seem like to be one of the best people for that. So we're going to change your job to be a trapper. I become a trapper. You are now a trapper. Go get your trapper's knife from wherever the heck we have that stored at. And then we also need you, possibly. Yes, you, to become a carpenter. Approved. And voila, we now have a carpenter as well. Ooh, and there's some berries there. We're going to go ahead and harvest those. Because that's going to be our source of food for right now. That should be pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. So that they will... Is that not one? Oh, three. Two risk three to speed it up. I have super speed mode, but uh, that's probably too risky to really use properly. Alright, so... Uh, we now have our trapper, right? You are now the trapper? Yes. So what we can do is we can designate an area to be trapping area. So let's just say right over there where it's this nice little clearing. Yeah, I want you to make traps there. So what I'll do is that'll catch us some animals, and we can use those to, you know, get some food, because we didn't start off with any food or a farmer's home, and we're going to need those things. Next up, we need to craft some things. I would say, with our little crafter here, and yeah, okay, he can make all these things here. So yeah, we just got to rush out this right here, a carpenter's workbench. What this does is it allows the carpenter to actually build something, or build a... Things that he needs to do anyways. And we gotta make him finish that first before we can really do anything else. And he's gonna go ahead and do that. He has finished that. And then we place it down like so. We'll just place it right here next to the fire. Seems like a great place for the workbench anyways. Alright, so he's gonna go ahead and do that. And now that he has that placed, we can now have him craft us a bunch of beds. So that our people may live in a bed. Yeah, that'll probably be ideal. So we're going to craft about... We're going to say three of them. Well, you know what? We'll do one, one better. We'll maintain three of them. So as we place them, he'll make them make more of them. And as you can see, her little traps are getting set up and everything. And you can see all the wildlife around here already that she's probably going to encounter and capture. So, you know, that's good. A grizzled traveler approaches... Come to the area, Embarkies. Here's a gift to get you started. Two baskets of turnips. Thank you for giving us some food to start with, because we genuinely had no food. <laughs> so, now what we need to do is I think we need to start building. We need some form of shelter for our little hearthlings here, so that they can, you know, survive. There are some pre-built thing, uh, pre things. They're pretty, they're pretty cool, in all fairness. I like them, but uh, we're going to go ahead and make our own. Just because, you know, that should be fun. So we need a nice foundation. We're going to go for a wooden one, obviously. And I'm always a fan of, like, a darker kind of foundation, really. And we'll keep it, like, there-ish. No, I don't want it there. I want it... We'll give it about a two gap in between. Yeah, right about there. And we'll make it ooh, 10 by 20 there. With a little bit of an outcrop over here at about a n eight, 10 by 8. Yeah, that sounds pretty good right there. We'll go one more out. Yeah, that'll be nice. Then you click the walls. We want probably a not by an ash with a nice dark column. Well, I don't know if we want not by an ash. Um, it's hard to decide what kind you want. Like, there's a lot of options. I mean, there's also stone here, too, but I think we want to go for some wood, considering this is Barkdale. That's always a fun pattern, but I think we'll just go with the Napa and Ash right now. That'll do fine. Yeah, I think that looks good. So then, we are going to want to grab some doors. We'll put a door right there, and that'll be nice. And our carpenter will go ahead and make that for us, and we're going to pause this game real quick, because they're not really doing much more any at, at this point, just because they're kind of just doing things, but you can tell that we got some things trapped in here already, which is nice. Oh, and we're about to get one more. Just watch him get trapped. Shall we? Oh, nope, he triggered it. Ooh, clever little bastard. Okay, and of course we're going to want some windows. Oh, I said I clicked the windows. Thank you. 
So, you know, just like a couple of slitted windows here, like maybe one there and maybe like one there. That'll look nice. We'll get one going out. Oh, one here. One there. We'll leave the back one alone. And then like one right, well, one right there. Can I get one right there that'll be an even? No. Oh, one right there that'll be even. Yeah, we'll throw you there. All right, that'll do, I think. And then, as any good house would pretty much need, we need a roof. So we grab ourselves the roof thing, and now we need to decide the style of the roof. We don't really want that style of roof. I don't like that one that much. That's that's not too, too hot to me, honestly. So we'll probably go for this one. The darker, darker will be nicer, I feel. So let's get that roof on there. I think we can just put it on there, and then let's see. Because we can decide what direction we want it to be. We can have it cut itself off on that side, which looks kind of cool. We can have it cut itself off on that side, but I like having that. And if we just do that, ooh, ooh, that's that's kind of interesting. No, nope. okay, climbed on top of a tree there. Not what I intended to do. But yeah, I think I like that. That looks that looks kind of interesting. What happens if we oh no, not that side. We need the north side. Oh yeah, look at that one. But I think I, I really like flat roof things. They're kind of cool. So we're gonna drop down the max height a little bit as well, just to get it on a bit more even level. And we can give it an overhang if we wanted to. Like that'd be just an overhang of one over there. Hmm. I don't know if I don't think I like the overhang. Is the roof offset? Oh, that's just increasing the height it's at. We'll drop it down one more just to get it there. It's gonna be a squat little house with like a nice flat roof on the top there, and I like it. I think that's gonna be good. Uh, let's get some decorations though. Well, no. We're gonna actually go ahead and make a road though. That'll be an important thing. Now, I'd like to make it out of stone, just because stone's a nice thing to have. But I'd really like to do it out of bricks. Bricks would be cool. So we're probably gonna actually wait to do the roads until we can actually do bricks. These are freestanding walls. They make just walls to put up. We'll do that when we want to make a castle, inevitably. Because I'm sure that'll happen. Okay, looking zoomed out really far. Alright, so we are finished editing with this house. Uh, and I want you guys to build it. Yes, start building. Because I think that's going to look really nice. And now, we'll get you guys doing that. They're going to start digging out the foundation for the place. Uh, I don't know if they'll get some... They might get some clay. I think you get, like, clay instead of dirt. He's reached carpenter level 1. That's good. So, what that's going to end up meaning is we can now start making this. We need that wooden sword, definitely. So, why don't you craft that for us? That's a leather-bound chest. That's cool. That's a large crate. Uh, we might make a leather uh, large crate at some point, just because that'll be a really useful thing to have. And we're probably going to need some of these lanterns at some point, too. Ooh, and a wooden dresser. But for right now, though, we're going to let them go ahead and do that. There's also a shield. It's for the warriors. Yeah, once we have a warrior, we'll probably make them a shield. In fact, we'll just go ahead and put a craft for that one anyways. Alright, and now you guys can, can resume on digging and such. <sighs> okay. So, what have they done so far? What is all this stuff? Is this all... That's all fiber, isn't it? So, we should probably get ourselves a... Whatchamacallit? A... Tailor person. Like, I would change you to a tailor if I had the thing. But we're gonna have to make sure to get that built by our lovely carpenter friend over here. Let's see. Do we have the... We do have the weaver spindle. Requires a bunch of those. We're gonna ask you to craft one of those real quick for us. And she seems to be doing good with the whole entire trapping thing. Has she befriended any animals yet? That's still an enemy. That's still an enemy. That's probably still an enemy bunny. Evil bunny. Ooh, and it's getting dark out already. Now, unlike a, a game like Minecraft or something, this doesn't have, like, any real trouble on the first night. It's just, it gets dark. That's about it. <laughs> so, we have the sword now, don't we? So we can make somebody a warrior. I need a warrior just to have them ready. And that's probably going to be you. Because you have 
a good amount of heart, and that's what really makes a warrior a warrior. So you're now a warrior. Uh, have you gone and equipped the shield? You have equipped the shield. Perfect. I love it. You look freaking awesome, honestly. Let's get a good look. Yeah. You have that shield. I like it. Uh, now we're going to end up needing some... We made the spinders thing, so we might as well make you into a weaver. And she's going to go over there. She's going to grab her weaver spindle and become a weaver. Now, we definitely need to make her stuff for her, which is going to be all of these things, I'm pretty sure, before we can actually... Yeah, we need all the things first. And we can make that spinning thread. We can make... Well, we actually can't make this wool yet. We don't have... Or leather. We don't have the stuff for it yet. And wool is thread, which we don't have any thread yet. So, you're going to go ahead and make your loom. You're going to make your spinning wheel. And you're going to make your weaver workbench. And we'll place all those down when you are actually done with them. 